hello, YouTubers. It's Larry here, your neighborhood brain hacker. And what I wanted to talk about today is what to avoid doing at night if you're looking forward to having a great night's sleep. And why should you look forward to having a great night's sleep? Well, when I bring it up, what do you say to yourself about your ability to have a great night's sleep? Because this is so important. I can't tell you how many people I know who go, well, I have trouble sleeping at night. Now, this is what happens to our brain. As soon as we say, I'm having trouble sleeping at night, what we've challenged our brain to do is prove us right. So, you know, we'll probably do two hours of screen time without knowing its impact negatively on our melatonin. And the melatonin is so important to allow us to fall asleep. It's that feeling of like, oh, that feels so good. Now, sleep is so amazing for your brain. Your brain feeds off of it. It builds your immune system. It allows it to process all of the information that's gone on during the day so you can wake up alert and ready and energized. Now, if you're reading right up to the moment or watching Instagram or television and then trying to fall asleep, what you've done is you've already overstimulated your brain. You might even been comparing your life to what you've been watching unfold in front of you. And that's always interesting because that's what's called an emotional roller coaster. You know, if you feel you're a little better than the person, what they're going through, that can make us feel a little better. If you're feeling a little worse because what they're going through is more, you know, it seems more exciting than what you're going through. Do you follow me? We allow, and this is what's so powerful about the brain, it's trying to identify. You know, where are we in alignment with what we're watching? And so, here's, here's the key. Give yourself at least an hour. If, if you can't, baby step into it and give yourself 10 minutes where you've shut everything off. And I want you to practice just paying attention to your breath. Just pay attention to your breath. Then pay attention to how nice that bed feels. Pay attention to the blankets and the sheets that are on your body and get as comfy as you possibly can with all your attention focused on why you're so comfortable as opposed to, oh, I'm really having trouble getting, un getting comfortable. Do you follow me? When you start paying attention to how you're directing yourself, you'll start to realize why you keep getting what you're getting in life, whether it's good for you or not. So for that most delicious life, just before you fall asleep, the more time you can give yourself to truly relax, the more opportunity the melatonin has to build up to give you one of those amazing night sleeps where you wake up ready for anything. I appreciated your time. There's a link below if you'd like to receive more information. And thanks again. I look forward to our next visit.